Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic and Miracles where you learn how to be the magician of your life. My name is Anna and I'm your manifestation coach. All the information for me is below. Uh, my website depicts all the services that I offer. I mainly coach in emails and audios just like this one except it's specifically tailored um, to help you achieve your manifestational goals. I have different packages um, for um, people who necessitate different things. There is an unlimited monthly package that works um, for most of the people, and that's what I encourage most people to get. Um, sometimes I do include extra things in it depending on what I feel is necessary um, for that particular person um, but I also do offer phone sessions and zoom meetings um, and there is also a package of five and five which is five emails and five audios which um, allows you to experience what my coaching is about now I know that if you're a follower of my uh, channel, you understand my personality. So I feel like you get a taste already of what I am about. I think that's very important. Um, when you hire a coach, you really need to click with them and their personality. So um, don't just go along with what I say. I think you really need to be well suited for me. And if you do feel like that's the case, then you know, we can really do some amazing work. Please use Cash App whenever you book with me. Um, that's a lot faster and easier uh, for the both of us. And if you do have any questions beforehand, please use my email. All that info is below. There's also a Facebook page, by the way, please join and share your success stories and an Instagram page. I'm actually really excited um, that this passion uh, project of mine is turning out so great. Um, I enjoy coaching people. I enjoy seeing results. I've done it for, for years um, in private um, because I just felt, well, for a lot of reasons, but I feel like artistic people necessitate that privacy. And it's, uh, it was never really an idea of mine until I started seeing so much misinformation on the internet about how to manifest. And more and more I grew frustrated and I started putting out these audios and videos to say, incorrect, this is how you actually do it. I think a lot of, uh, so we're going to go into this audio. I try, kind of tried to record it yesterday and I removed that audio because I never arrived to the point. <laughs> I was having too much fun yesterday with the Columbus um, Day Parade. It It's, it, it's invigorating um, because uh, as I shared on my, on my channel already, I arrived to United States around Columbus uh, Day and I remember how I manifested that, but more about that later. I actually manifested that really specifically, the coming to United States, that is. And I was just 17. I didn't know, like, what I was doing. And so what I, okay, let me get to the point that I really wanted to share. The reason I started coaching um, uh, openly and the reason I started this channel is to help people, to, to give them back their power, essentially, and to make them understand that there is no SP, okay? It's you. We're not discussing how to bring back your SP. We're discussing how to give you back the power, all right? It all comes back to you. I think that's the main understanding that you should really um, have. And a lot of people are focusing so much, putting so much attention on uh, the money, the this, the that, when it's all about you. That's it. So be honest with yourself, all right? And... Um, it's not about bringing them back. 
It's about bringing you back <laughs> in the driver's seat and, and helping you understand how that's always been the case. You know, people who write to me all day long and they're like, oh, my SP and this, that, and the other. Okay, I can understand that that's how you perceive th things to be at the moment. But let's talk about how you arrived at that conclusion. When did you stop um, assuming your power? When was that moment? Maybe you never assumed your power in the first place. So the coaching that I offer mainly reminds you of, hey, you know what? Um, yeah, you kind of are in control the entire time, even the times that you seem to be out of control and things are out of control or you want to create an illusion of separation with your SP or whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it. <laughs> okay, you're you're creating this whole thing. It's a mirror of you, my darling. Yes, yes. It's a it's like a direct mirror of you. So if you want to talk about what you're reflecting right now into your 3D, okay. It's going to give me a direct image of what it is that um you're doing on the inside. But it's all about you. You're not kidding anybody. Okay, so I think like we should stop this pretense right around the subject, especially with the SP. Nobody's above you. Nobody's more important than you. And I'm not saying this in a egotistical way. This is pure creation. This is metaphysics. Okay, this is quantum physics. We're not uh, bidding around the bush on this channel. We're not doing any of that shit. We're going directly to what it is that needs to happen. And what needs to happen is that you have got to address the inside work. It's all on the inside. Can I tell you something? Nothing that... Can I blow your mind? And I think most of you know this already. But everything you see outside is an illusion. There's nothing, it's not real. It's a thing that's in your mind. It's not even, how can I say this to you? It's not, e it's not physical. The three, the so-called 3D is not physical. Your brain receives, um, certain, um, manipulations, um, electrical signals that makes it smell, uh, certain things, um, the, the, the sense of touch, all of this is fabricated by your brain. The entire movie is playing in your brain, okay? And when you go to sleep and you see a dream, do you think that this is actually happening or it's just a movie playing in your brain? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So... The way to start playing a different movie is for you to choose your consciousness. That's it. That's all that's happening. And if you want to choose a different dream, um, you need to stop um, pretending, first of all, that it's not all about you. I have this, uh, <laughs> one of my sayings on um, my desk, as I sit here, Every morning, um, I don't know what provoked me to write that down five years ago, but it says, can't you see that you're the dreamer of your dream? It's all you, baby. It's all you. So stop pretending that you're not creating this. I think in coaching, you really do um, get to discover yourself. You can talk about a million freaking things, you know, you can talk about money, you can talk about this, that, and the other, but ultimately, there's nobody else to fix other than you, and there's nothing particularly wrong with you, that is not to say, like, fix, you know, that, like, something is broken, I think the fixing is the perspective, you know, you just need to redirect your mind um, a little bit, and the fundamentals, 
right, of reality. It's, it's not about another. It's about you. Because the, the, the other is just mirroring what you've got going on inside. Period. Like, that's the entire premise. And if you get it, if you really download this, how you created this in the first place. And a lot of people, you know what, myself included, maybe a few years ago, I would have been like, you know, arguing with somebody. No, but you don't understand. But this person and okay, yeah, you created this person. Yeah. So (laughs) go create another person or another version of that person. Don't be so convinced of your illusion. You can create another illusion. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and so I just want to conclude this um, audio with this point. When you are trying, quote unquote, trying to bring your SP back, ask yourself a very serious question. Okay? Why are you fighting against yourself? What has you do that? Because on the surface, you're saying to yourself, I'm I'm wanting this person back. But what's inside of you that keeps recreating that situation? Because no manifestation is still a manifestation. And that's the kind of stuff that we cover in coaching with me. Because there's nothing else to do. If you understand how the inner work, uh, how your um, inner um, dialogue goes on and your inner workings of your mind, I mean, you've got it made. But the thing is, it's all about you. And I think that's the question you should ask yourself. Why are you creating this illusion? There's a reason. And that's pretty much, you know, the end of bringing back your SP. It's like, okay, you're you're making it about somebody else when it's really about you. It's up to you. Stop giving away your power, all right? Stop doing that. Get a notepad, start scripting what it is that you want to have happen. Because the entirety of the time, it has been, it's, you did all of this, okay? The house you live in, uh, the city you live in, what you do for work, uh, people you know, people you don't know. You know what I mean? Like, this is imaginary. Everything is imagination. Why are you doing this if you're not happy with that? You want another story? Get a notepad. (laughs) Start creating differently. Start being the person that you want to be. Right. And so uh, sometimes, yeah, it does take a coach for you to snap out of um, pretending that you're a victim. You're not a victim. You're so powerful. You're so powerful. You created this whole shebang of misery or whatever, like uh, the illusion of that you you don't have something. OK, you might just as well create that you do have it. So why did you create the separation? You're so powerful. I um, say this in my coaching a lot, but also I think I shared this on my channel. You are so powerful that when you leave your house, it goes into abyss. And when you come back to your house or apartment, you create it all over again. It's a brand new reality. True story. (laughs) yes yes those walls are not real you know it's all it's all imagine it's all illusion you're creating it every time you look at it okay so you think that you can create your sp back yes it's just what you're doing is um you're understanding why you're not creating that person And internally, uh, there is some kind of dialogue, there's some kind of structure in place where, for whatever reason, you're not creating this person holographically. It's all holographic. Okay, I'm done, like, cover, you know, this is the real deal. This is metaphysics. This is the quantum reality. 
you're not creating that person. So we need to examine that in coaching, why you're not creating it. But you are the one not creating this person. It's not like, oh, they have a consciousness of their own and they're walking around. No, 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 nothing of the kind, my lovely darling. No. Do you remember the um, uh, Star Trek movie when this guy goes, oh, fetch me a brunette and make her sassy and whatever? It's like that. You created your SP from scratch out of your imagination. All right, so the reason they disappeared is you made them disappear. <laughs> yes, you made them disappear. You needed something else to work on, to accept your divinity, to, to be present with your thoughts. I don't know. There is a reason why you did that. So to make them reappear is just as easy as you made them disappear. So, yeah, yeah, accept your divinity, accept your divine power. Anyway, um, please stop giving away your power. Let's accept on this channel once and for all that you're empowered, you're 100%. And the only question <laughs> I want you to ask yourself, can't you see that you're the dreamer of your dream? Until next time, all the information again is below. Ciao, ciao.